Okay, that was our snare. We actually have a really nice sounding snare now. Great sounding rims. So now, let's go to the toms. And we're going to focus on the high tom. Okay, so we're going to make this tom come alive. Basically, I'm going to apply the same pitch value that I did to the snare to, to the tom for now. So do you hear it climb? The harder I hit it. Nice. It needs one more element. When you hit a, a tom softly, it's going to be a little duller than what it would produce if it was struck hard. What we're going to do is we're going to put velocity to filter cutoff. Velocity is going to control uh, the filter uh, opening and closing based on how hard the pad is, is hit. So I'm going to change the velocity to cutoff setting from off, it's default, to, uh, let's try 127, see what happens. Very nice, but a little too dark on the soft hits. So what we're going to do to correct that is uh, go to the filter cutoff. From 0 to, oh, let's try 32. Oh, nice. That's a nice sounding tom. Very nice. All right, so we have a nice sounding tom. So we'll do the rim. So I'm going to change the pitch of the rim to 12. Let's see what we get. Here's my tom. Here's my rim. What we're going to do now is we're going to reprogram all the other toms so that we have a match set to this one. And uh, we've done something a little different with the floor tom. Uh, I'll show you what I did. So on the floor tom, we went down with the rim. That's a nice sounding floor tom. And on the snare, of course, we have our subtle rim. We've also applied a little bit of the, the same effects and whatnot to the kick drum. Subtle, but very, very beautiful. We haven't touched cymbals yet, but this is what it sounds like. <laughs> 